And so we're going to break this verse down into three simple parts and let this verse speak to us. The first thing that I want you to see in reaching purity is that Paul says to pursue peace, righteousness. So to pursue purity, pursue, pursue. So write this down if you're taking notes is that purity is not a point you cross. It's a pursuit, an ongoing pursuit or pursuit after Jesus. Purity is not a point you reach. Oh, when I get married, then I'm pure. Oh, when I'm, when I stop consuming pornography, I am pure. When I stop staring at girls' butts, then I'm pure. When I stop looking for ladies who are wearing yoga pants in the gym, I'm pure. The same thing can be applied to girls. When I stop doing this, then I'm pure. Purity is not a certain level you reach where you stop struggling. Paul doesn't say purity is a point. It's a constant, ongoing pursuit. When you stop pursuing, you stop purity. Even if you don't commit physical, sexual, immoral sins. Purity is not a point you reach. It's a pursuit after Jesus. So the goal is not to pursue purity. The goal is to pursue Jesus. And as you pursue Jesus, the purity becomes a result. My problem was, I got introduced to pornography at a very young age. I think I was about 12 years of age. It was the first time that in the Ukraine, somebody showed black and white magazine photos. It was half of the page that was ripped up. I can't recall what I saw, but I just remember that I saw for the first time women who could not afford clothes. Like a drug addict addicted to drugs. I found myself being addicted to consuming pornography. It left me feeling dirty. I was a disciplined man. I thought I was a disciplined man. I was disgusted with myself. I hated myself. I started to preach at that time, already a young man. I would go to my pastor for accountability. And I'm going to share uh, my deliverance story in just a moment. But in my mind, I developed this thing that I was not pure. I wasn't pure. Though I was a virgin, I wasn't pure. And in my mind, I said this, if God gives me freedom from pornography, I will be pure. So purity in my mind was this, reaching a point where I no longer watch pornography. And that's the problem. That's not what purity is. Purity is not reaching a point where you don't do that sin that you do right now. That's not purity. Paul says to pursue. Meaning, if you don't pursue it, you can't walk in purity. And even if you stop consuming pornography, even if you stop sleeping with your boyfriend, even if you repent of your lesbian lifestyle, even if you walk away from sexual immorality, you get married and you have an ongoing physical intimacy, that doesn't guarantee purity if you park your devotional spiritual life in the garage of your religiosity. And after I got delivered from pornography, I found out the battle with lust the battle and the struggle here continued but there was this sense of pride i no longer watch this stuff so i am good but see if you're not pursuing you're not pure purity is not a point you reach purity is a pursuit after god anytime you park at the particular level with your walk with god you start compromising physically It always happens. It's a matter of time. Because the pursuit is the only thing that keeps me in purity. So the root of my purity is the pursuit of God. The result of my pursuit of God is pure lifestyle. Are you comprehended with what I'm saying? So the first thing that I wanted to share with you guys today about purity is the point. It's not a, it's not a point you reach. You, you don't park at a particular time or a particular, because I find people who, when they are needing to be free from a particular sin, They are pursuing God. They're desperate. And then when you reach the freedom from that sin, there becomes this complacent parking where you sit down, where you park at that freedom. And you say, you know what? I am good. I arrived. But that's not what purity is. That's what freedom is. That's not what purity is. What purity is, is a constant pursuit. So if you got free from that addiction, if you got delivered from that, God says the same way you were pursuing me where you were addicted, continue to pursue me. Otherwise, some other addiction will slip you back in and you will not be performing my commandments because you're not pursuing me purity is the pursuit somebody say amen the holy spirit is saying this is that if you make it your goal to pursue me 
without striving, purity, self-control, all those things will begin to come natural, effortlessly. The only effort you have to put in is to run after Him. So all their effort is not to be free, is to run. When you put the effort to run, God says, I put the effort to bring purity. That even when you're free, I bring deeper levels of purity with every season of your life. Because being free is not God's goal. God's goal is purity of heart. You can be free, but not walk in purity. And that's why some of us, what happens is that we walk in freedom. And we think, well, I beat this sin. I beat that addiction. I no longer struggle with that. But at the same time, the purity of heart is deeper than that. And you can't do that by trying to make yourself pure. You can only do that by putting an effort to pursue. And God says, now that you put in the time to pursue, I'm not talking about just showing up to church. You got to pursue the Lord. You got to pursue the Holy Spirit if you want to live in purity.